What's going on, Crafty Nistas? So I am here with a little $5 challenge that I was challenged. I was sent a gift card by another YouTuber, Hands of a Miracle. And um, I decided to play around. I don't have any rules, but I decided to play around with some items. Here's this wreath that um, was about to get thrown away. It was a little Valentine's um, gift. You know, one of those things where your husband just picks up something with chocolate and bears and I decided to strip it in a little bit and get all that pink off and cover it as you can see there with some twine and then I pulled out my dies and I've been looking at some of the flower um, wreaths a while back and I just haven't bought one and don't know if I really want to hold on to it that long so this is a good option because um, you can always you know change it out or throw throw this out or get rid of it because you know you didn't pay a lot of money for it so I ran the dies through my vagabond a few times and am just sitting here with a pen and curling up and curling back some of the um, little petals there trying to get a palette together to play with um, just as every flower is different um, and unique I made these a little different so I'm just playing around here and showing how I curved them around and I got together flowers so once I got them together I pulled out my little jewels and did them on every big um, big petal and then kind of filled in what I needed there so that's what I'm doing here then I just grabbed my glue gun and glued it on so once I got them together I was happy the way they looked I pulled out my first item from the Dollar Tree challenge um, was the metal word die I bought these back in a Dollar Tree haul a while back but I didn't want to mention it because um, I didn't know how long it was gonna be getting me to get myself together so I chose the word thankful out of that and you know I have um, figure that's something that I can actually leave up and put this um, separately I have mostly silver going on in the home so that's something that can be left up and I like how that turned out here and I'll show you at the end how it looks hanging on the wall but I thought this was unique and I just added some trim um, at the, the top to cover that up since it was deep down in there I didn't want to rehang it and it was nice and strong I just covered that up and I think it turned out cute it's different and crafty and something that I like so it's good for me and then the second part of it I took a one of the Dollar Tree frames is another piece to the, the challenge and I kept, kept looking at the Tim Holtz fragments and I was like, I gotta, I want to do something with those fragments that I picked up um, from Tuesday morning earlier this year. And I started looking at some of the cutouts, the literal cutouts that I have from a paper pad that I had cut up. And it started looking like a puzzle to me. And I said, you know, I want to use that. I want to um, use that in the fall to do something fall to occur I thought that they looked um, you know orange and brown and gave me those rich fall colors so I decided that's what I would do so I just played around with the different shapes and I used Mod Podge, Mod Podge for this but um, if you like gla glossy accents I recommend you know using that will probably give you a better um, result but I just used Mod Podge and then went on and sat and let them dry when I got what I wanted on every piece and then just took my scissors and cut them out and then I just played around here and tried to figure out how I want them placed but I thought that it was something different and it got my creative juices going and I thought that it was a cute little unique piece for the fall so I am going to take out that matted piece and I kept um, that dimensional piece in there because it gave me a pop 
but then I didn't like that I you know had that background that I needed to cover back there so I also pulled out um, one of the sheets that I picked up from Tuesday morning a while back earlier this year from um, Tim Holtz and I have this golden sparkly um, sticker back sticky back sheet that I laid on top there and that gave me that sparkle background, which I loved. And so here, again, I just played around with how I want things to look. And how they can go on here. I thought I had placed everything where I can pick it up and go back, but it didn't go back like I wanted. It was a little puzzle. And then the third piece is I added that bright... Um, orange ribbon which I can reuse for cards and other projects but I really love that ribbon so I bought the ribbon and then the fourth is these pumpkin clips that I picked up I initially saw that there were some different colors um, but my Dollar Tree never got them in so I think maybe some white would have been nice um, or I'm not sure what colors I've seen and I need to quit watching hauls but anyway um, I said, you know what, I'm going to go fix these up a little bit. And I pulled out my little paint pen here. And I wanted to spice up the stem. So I used the gold on there and gave it a little golden tone. As you can see the one on the left slightly, you can see how I did that. So I'm just taking the paint pen and there's a rubbing on it. And giving it a little bit of a different look. And I think it makes a nice effect since I'm using the gold tone in this in this area. So I took the gold pen and also ran down the lines and that gave my pumpkin a different a different look. And so I'm liking how that's turning out and it's going to be something totally different from the way they came in that package as you can see there that looks like a different pumpkin there so I have my finished results here I have this um, thankful that I can leave up in a different area of my home and then in this little covey area I usually do you know your seasonal things there so I took down what I had um, it was really spring that I had going on there and I put up this fall picture that I had and don't knock my decorating skills y'all that's not my my um, cup of tea I'm a more of a craftier person that's not my strength but I grabbed my fall things that I had in the home and then I added this cute little frame that I made and then I added the little pumpkins and I forgot to mention that mesh that was my fifth item um, that mesh I just cut that out in three sti strips and added that in there for my fifth item so I hope that you enjoyed this and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel and see you later, Crafty Nista.